Hello there, people of varying time frames. Ugh. It's currently July 20, uh, 21st, yes. Great start. Around 11 p.m., just get home. And it's gonna be one of those. So, sometimes I said I'd end up probably just ranting for these. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those times to sit comfortably or something. I'm not particularly happy tonight. So basically, days like today are more or less what I'd call my Mondays at work. I just had my two-day weekend, and of course, everybody hates Mondays. Well, this one definitely earned its hatred because it was pretty much miserable from start to finish. I swear to freaking God, it's like everybody had some sort of problem today. And it just drives me crazy because, of course, I'm the one that always has to be on the receiving end of their bitchy, just self-serving attitudes. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It starts off real great, you know? People are always trying to tell you how to do your job when they obviously have no freaking idea. People who don't listen to very simple instructions. It's like, if you bothered listening to anything I said at all, then you know what would happen? Things would go smoothly because, you know, we'd actually be doing it the way we're supposed to instead of having to put up with whatever the hell kind of ridiculous ideas you have because they certainly ain't gonna work. So yeah, I mean, there's that and jeez. So it started off real great, yeah. Pretty much got stuck. One of the things that happened in the story is there's both development and things like that. And one of the first things that happened there is just finding out that, that most of the stuff just isn't even working pretty much at all. It's great. Good to know. Always good to know. So I pretty much sat in there for a couple of hours trying to make things work deal with all the people wanting stuff like ID photos and whatnot. Ugh. And of course, I ask very simple questions. One of them being, you know, what are you using it for? What documents is it for? Hey, here's here's a bit of a bit of a heads up for you people, just in case you didn't know. There is more than one size of ID in the universe. More than one, I know. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Huh, took a while before I didn't get one. And the amount of people that just don't realize that, and they're like, yeah, just, just do whatever. It's like, no, there's multiple sizes for a reason. Do your part and bring the application or something, just please. That's just the kind of the minor stuff. That happens every single day, I'm used to that. It's just, it's frustrating as all. I just kind of wish that it wouldn't be such a problem, but it is. Yeah, that type of thing. So yeah, on top of stuff like that, I mean... Let's see, where else to go with this? I had a lot of customers I just really didn't want to deal with, would be one way of putting it. Ugh. It's one of those days. It's one of those days where I just come home, I'm absolutely furious at everything, and it's kind of the level of exhaustion it causes and just general bad mood is why I don't generally get a lot of recording done when I get home because. I'm already in a miserable mood, and I just want to do whatever to try and calm down and prepare for the next day, because of course I'm out of here at like 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is 10 hours from now, so I pretty much have just enough time to go straight to bed if I don't want to sacrifice some sleep to try and calm down. And after that's all said and done, it's like, what am I supposed to do, you know? I just want to stay sane, but everything doesn't want me to. And I'm pretty far from that to begin with, but yeah. So yeah, on top of all that other stuff, the... Just dealing with people being generally bitchy all day. It's like, you're getting me to check a price, and you're getting me sniffy about it. And other things like... Of course, one of the things I had to do is dealing with mobile phones. And there's at one point where I actually had to call the company that makes... that sells the dang thing, because... There was a problem, and I had to try to figure out a solution. And, oh, you know, of course, I usually call these people, they're usually fine. Unfortunately, this time I got the one person who just sticks straight to their script and doesn't know how to get their goddamn job done. Instead, they just start putting me around in circles, and, you know, that gets really annoying really fast. I don't like being led around in circles, it's actually rather frustrating. And, you know, even the customers were getting annoyed when they were listening to me on the receiving end, and just all the things they double-checked that wasn't really necessary, I just needed them to do one thing so their product would work. 
Because they've been having issues for the past week and a half, and it makes every single attempt to activate something frustrating. Oh, didn't realize I was getting five from this. Okay. Shaking my head, because it's just like... What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm not a miracle worker. I can't just make things work on my own when it's on the company's end. On top of that, I was expecting to have somebody competent with me tonight, but that didn't happen. Because the person that came in for the other section of the store couldn't be trusted to do simple tasks because they're completely worthless. So unfortunately, my competent employee had to go deal with the other section and pricing and whatnot. And I get stuck with the completely worthless one on my side. So the funny part about having somebody like that, you know, being your coworker for the day, is that you're taking a big problem there. You know, it's one thing to be alone, which I'm used to, because people keep on abandoning me to try to handle everything on my own, which is stupid, but I'm just getting adjusted to it at this point. It's worse, because then you have somebody who's essentially running around being a magnet. For, you know, bringing more customers to you when you're already overloaded from essentially working by yourself. It can't get much more ridiculous than that. It's like, I'm just trying to do my job, but now I have somebody else there who is literally bringing people to me to further overload me. And that goes on for the entire night, of course, because straight from 5 o'clock to closing, the only person that I had, somebody just created more work. And it really gets topped off. Oh, God. This one's especially fresh since I literally just got over this. So I'm up on my second break for the day. Our breaks are reasonably short, so... Whatever I could for a little short period. It's not really much time to eat. Uh, and little did I know that during that time he had been on the phone with a, you know, one of our other locations, making these ridiculous promises, like all the mobile phone stuff and handling defenses and whatnot. He just didn't know shit about that. But he was apparently talking as if he did, because next thing I know, it's you know, in the last hour before closing. I have a couple of customers that are, you know, here with a defective phone that they just got from the other location. And expected to just be, you know, straight out swapped, everything okay. No, that's not how it works. You activate a mobile phone, there's a lot you have to do to make sure it gets swapped out. And of course, having to do anything that wasn't just a straight swap, they started getting pissy because that was just the theme of the day by that point. Not only that, but they're coming in at the time when, you know, when I had to call the actual phone company, then they probably don't even have anybody there. Lucky for them, they did. But still, they could have had nobody there at all. On top of that, they had said one color, when in, in fact the product was another. So that wasted another ten minutes, because I thought I was looking for one color, which we didn't have, and I had to inform them that I can't do anything without the same one. But no, 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 it turns out it was actually the one I did have. After that, yeah. And don't forget, this entire thing happened with me getting no notice. Because the person that took the call... Didn't even bother to mention it to me, and then when I actually radioed to find out what the hell was going on, they didn't remember shit about it because their attention is that of a goldfish. It's like, it's a complicated procedure. You don't know shit about it, why are you answering questions about it? Worst part is, I mean, they're leaving at this point. They didn't even stick around for more than like four months or something of whatever it was. Thank god. And it's just like, I can't, there's not even much point in me teaching them the procedure because they're leaving in two weeks, what does it matter? So of course, the customer's already like royally pissed because I had to go through a few extra hoops because they weren't listening and they were just hearing what they want to hear. So when I try to tell them things, they've already heard it as something completely different. Because that's real exciting. Deal with that whole mess, and then at the end of it, after everything's all said and done, after I've called the phone company, fixed the damn thing, swapped everything around, and started writing up the tags for, you know, getting the thing reset and us getting reimbursed as a store. And then they started talking out about something about getting a free case for their time. And that it was apparently promised by the other store over the phone or whatever. It's like, no? No? I'm not going to be... Okay, first off, it was a defective item. It's not even our fault that the thing was damaged. It came to us like that. You should blame the shippers and other such things. We're not taking a hit for that. On top of that, it was another location that had been dealing with the phone. 
and, you know, said something about adding on a case or whatever for the problem. No! I can't just, you know, I'm not just gonna hand somebody a $50 bill because they said somebody else said I was supposed to. Like, no! Those things are expensive! I can't just fork things over. Try to at least think outside of your own head and think of a, you know, the wider perspective for once. Other known as, as known as a business. Holy I mean, it's just like, it hurts. The people that I have to serve every single day, it hurts. It's not even you know, more complex things like economics and businesses and whatnot. Like, there's a lot of stuff where I legitimately question how they even breathe let alone process anything else in their day-to-day -day lives, because there's obviously something horribly wrong with their head. And this is a trend I'm noticing about pretty much the majority of people in this city. I wish I could move. Like, I really do. But there are reasons I have to be here, because it's the only spot in all the, like, the entire country that can have everything that I need all in one spot. Even though there's not really employment here for me other than shitty stuff like this. I haven't been this mad after a shift in a long, long time, but holy, just fucking hell. Pardon my language, but it's just like, what am I even supposed to do in situations like that? I'm just basically being thrown into the fire by somebody that decided to not even give me a heads up warning or anything to let me know that, hey, you're gonna be dealing with something really frustrating today. And it's like knowing that I have to be out the door again at 9 a.m. tomorrow on top of everything else? Yeah, I'm pretty angry because it's like I don't even get a chance to try to rest this off. I'm probably going to be up until like 4 in the morning just doing something like this to try to relax. Because I'm going to need it because I have another long shift tomorrow and then the next day and then the next day and then the next day. Also, I can just make ends meet. Really exciting, isn't it? That's a good portion of future life that you have to look forward to. You can spend six years in university, get yourself your degree finally with a major and a minor, and not even be looked at whatsoever because you don't have job experience. Because apparently my two years of internships mean nothing. It's just, it hurts. That's the best way of putting it. I don't get it. These people that are just so incredibly stupid are the ones that are actually making money or usually through illegitimate reasons, I means from based on how I see their sunken in faces, their red eyes, their sniffling constantly, their irritated, quick-tempered attitude. It's just like, those are the people that are actually getting paid, can live to, you know, afford to live somewhere nice, all that good stuff. Somebody who actually has the education and generally tries to be nice and helpful to people? Fuck bringing a sales job, where I'm continually underappreciated, mistreated, and just not paid enough. Exciting, isn't it? This one of those nights. You just gotta look at all that and you're like... I don't put up with it. Is my answer? I don't really know, but... I do. I'm forever stubborn to pretty much a fault. Gotta pay the bills, gotta get stuff done, and... I'm gonna do it. So, let's keep trucking along. I managed to keep my mood up as best I can, but nowadays it's just been by pouring more and more hours into games and just trying to do stuff that's fairly mindless and relaxing, because if I don't, I'm gonna be pissed off like this constantly rather than just after very bad days. That's not gonna do anybody any good. There's no point for me to be so furious about everything. Because all it's gonna do is just, you know, make people not want to be around me more than they already don't. I'm like, I don't notice constantly being you know, left alone and just everybody else talking to each other and everything else. It's like... <sighs> this is definitely super ranty and I apologize if it's been kind of hard to understand, but... Just the type of mood that I get left in after a long day like that. I didn't get a time to really calm from it. I mean, I had my calm. It's gone. I got another 32 hours to work through this week. Only to get another two days. So I haven't really streamed much because it's all I get. It's that two days a week. I don't have vacation. I don't have sick days. I work as much as I do and I don't really have anything at all to show for it. That's my home. That's all I got. Can't really afford much else. At home, I got food and shelter. I got the two most basic needs. And I work my ass off for it.
For once, it's just like, I just want a little bit of that money that people get for just being completely brain dead. Like, miserable excuses for human beings. I'd like to have some of that. I want to give up my brain for it because that seems to be what everybody else does. Simple things like that. I just want to be able to go an entire month and actually have something to show for it. Not have the, you know, about $50 wiggle room both ways, sometimes for much further into the negatives. I just want to be able to live comfortably and eventually have the idea that maybe I could actually go see friends that don't live near me because nobody does. just so stupid. It's like, I get mistreated by customers, I get mistreated by co-workers. There's ones that, like, don't even realize how much of a problem they are. And I don't want to confront them angrily about it, because that's just going to make the problem worse. You don't create more tension in your workplace. It's the worst thing you could do, because if you make tension between your co-workers, all you're going to do is make it so every single day you have to be there working with them is going to be miserable. May as well just let them be blissfully unaware and keep on smiling, even as they create more work for me, because, you know, that way it's at least not tense. It's like it's snippy at them every now and then, but that's about it. I went to the wrong place. Getting ahead of myself. It's supposed to be this one. Ooh, that's not gonna load so well while I'm recording. Or maybe it is. Like I don't notice. I'm calling in sick on the days that they work with me and just generally leaving me alone in the department whenever I'm supposed to be working with them. I've been told not to take it personally, but it's just it's happened too many days in a row now, and you get pretty suspicious at that type of repetitive behavior. Like, fine, you don't want to interact with me at all. It's just I wish I had teammates. I've got a couple of coworkers I can actually rely on. So it makes it so days like today don't have to exist because I have somebody there who can do it, handle it with me. That's like two out of my entire team. Not any good. There's lots of days where I don't work with either of them. <laughs> I only get one other person there with me for like the most of the remainder of the night. If I don't have one of them, then it just creates more and more work or it's just left alone, and I had to handle it all myself. Perfectly capable of it, but it's one of those things I wish I didn't have to. Why do I have to do everything? That's like, it's nice that you have maybe managerial paperwork or other such things to work on, but it would be nice if I actually had somebody there doing their job alongside me instead of some other piece of the job that's supposed to be dealt with at other times. Is stupid. There's no other way to put it. It's stupid. I should have to put up with this type of crap. But I shouldn't be able to have a 40 hour a week job and not even make enough money to do more than pay my bills. Cost of living's too high these days, minimum wage is too low, all that good stuff. I've been kind of going on long enough though. This, this has been enough of a round. I'm just worn out. I'm exhausted. Head hurts from being as angry as I have been. Thankfully, not swearing very much still, but. What's the point of working so hard when you don't get any reward for it, you know? Do your best just to try to make sure everything's done right. The only thing you're rewarded with is pissed off customers and, you know, grumpy co workers because. They ex expect you to do favors for them, another such thing that's not to policy. I try to do is what's best at the store and I get stepped on. It's great. Well. On that downer note, let's go ahead and call it a night for now. I'm gonna try to actually have a little bit of fun before I go home, turn in, so I can leave home all day again tomorrow. Uh. Hopefully you guys at least have a good night. Yeah.